This is number one from the 2022 seventh grade math star test, and I'm going to be working out every single problem from that test. Number one says, the length of a ruler is 12 inches. They are approximately 25.4 millimeters and one inch. Which measurement is closest to the length of the ruler in millimeters? So I'm gonna go ahead and write out what I know. So I know that the length of a ruler is 12 inches, and I'm gonna be multiplying by 25.4 millimeters per one inch or over one inch. And what that's gonna do is cancel out the units for inches on top and bottom and just leave me with millimeters so I know that I'm doing this correctly. Then I just have to do 12 times 25.4 and I should get an answer of 304.8 millimeters, which is letter C. This is number two from the 2022 seventh grade math star test. The table shows the number of bags of different flavors of potato chips on a store shelf. A customer will randomly select one bag of potato chips from the shelf. Which statement about the flavor of the potato chips chosen is best supported by the information in the table? So I'm just gonna go ahead and start going through the answer choices and see which one makes the most sense. So letter F says the flavor is least likely to be plain. Well, if I look at my table, the smallest number is ranch. So ranch is gonna be the least likely. Um, so letter F is not correct. Letter G says the flavor is twice as likely to be jalapeno as ranch. So jalapeno is 18, ranch is eight. And in order for that to be twice as likely, twice of eight is 16, which jalapeno is 18. That's not the same. So it's not gonna be letter G. Letter H says the flavor is equally likely to be plain jalapeno, ranch, or cheese. Obviously that's not true because they're all different amounts. And then letter J says the flavor is more than twice as likely to be cheese as it is to be ranch. So cheese is 20, ranch is eight. And that is true because twice of eight, again, is 16. And cheese is 20, which is more than 16. So our correct answer is letter J. This is number three from the 2022 seventh grade math star test. Nicole had a collection of 60 stuffed animals. She gave away five stuffed animals per month until all her stuffed animals were gone. Which graph best represents the situation? So a couple of things I'm gonna be looking for. I know that she started with 60 stuffed animals. So on my graph, it should start at 60. And if she's given away stuffed animals, then that means that our graph should be decreasing as we go from left to right. So the first thing I notice is that we should be starting at 60 stuffed animals. And so our correct answer should have a graph or a line that starts at 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that on every answer choice. So letter A starts at 60 and it's decreasing from left to right. So I'm gonna put a check, that might be it. Moving down to letter B, it does start at 60, but it's increasing, okay? So that's not gonna work, that's not gonna be it. Letter C is starting at zero, so that's obviously not it. And then letter D is starting at 600, which is obviously not correct. So our correct answer is letter A. Number four from the 2022 seventh grade math star test. This figure is composed of a parallelogram and a trapezoid. What is the area of the figure in square centimeters? So if we check our star reference sheet, we should see that the area of a parallelogram is equal to B times H, which is base times height. And a trapezoid is equal to one half times base one plus base two times height. So let's start with the parallelogram. Our parallelogram has a base of 26 and a height of 16, which I can find by subtracting 32 minus 16. So 26 times 16 is equal to 416. Now I can move to the trapezoid. So I'm gonna write one half times, one of my bases is 26 and my other base is 40. So 26 plus 40 times the height, which again is 16. And then once I multiply that out, I should get 528. But now we have to add our two areas to find the total area. So 528 plus 416 and I should get 944, so the correct answer is letter H. Number five from the 2022 seventh grade math star test. Triangle QRS and its dimensions are shown. Which measurements in centimeters represent the dimensions of a triangle that is similar to triangle QRS? So in other words, we need a triangle that is proportional to the triangle that they're showing. So right away, the first thing I notice is that if I look at side QS, which is six, inside SR, which is 12, 
12 is twice the amount of six. So my first two sides should have that same relationship, okay? It should be double the amount. So letter A, I have eight and 14. 14 is not twice of eight. So that's not gonna be letter A. Letter B, I have 10 and 20. That does work because 10 times two is 20. Letter C, I have four and 10, and that's not gonna work because four times two is eight. And then letter D, I have 12 and 24, and that will work because 12 times two is 24. So how do I determine between letter B and letter D? Well, I'm going to make a proportion. So I'm gonna start with the original triangle and I'm gonna make a fraction and I'm gonna use these two sides. So I'm gonna put 12 over 15 and I'm gonna set that equal to, and I'm gonna start with letter B. So I'm gonna use the second and the third sides just like I did in the original triangle. So I'm gonna put 20 over 25. So now to see if these fractions are equivalent, I'm going to use cross multiply, but you could easily just reduce these fractions. So whenever I cross multiply, 15 times 20 is 300. And then on the other side, 25 times 12 is also 300. So I know that those sides are proportional. So the correct answer is letter B.